What's up, everybody? My name is Vince. Welcome to the channel. If you've been here for a while, you will know that when it comes to drivers, impact drivers, drill drivers, my go-to, my first out of the truck is 12 volt variant of pool. I prefer them. They're lightweight. Most of them are very powerful. This is the thing. If the 12 volt tool don't get the job done for me, it's probably a much larger job. I'm probably gonna have to go after the truck anyway. Maybe I go out and I get a 20 or 18 volt tool. But are all 12 volt tools created equally? Are they all for homeowners? Are you a homeowner? But do you want a quality 12 volt tool? Well, today we got something for you. We're gonna get this unboxed. We're gonna look it over the specifications. And I'm gonna tell you, I've had my hands on this tool in this video here. It surprised me then. I bet you it's gonna surprise you now. Here we go, we got Skills Power Core 12. This is their brushless 12 volt quarter inch hex impact driver. It comes with their very awesome Power Core 12 jump charger. Awesome, awesome, we're gonna talk about that in a second. It also comes with a two amp hour battery. In case you're wondering, it's got like a, a long product designation. I'll read it off though, it's ID 574402. Then there's like a number below it. Listen, if the first number's not enough, I don't know what to tell you. You should be able to find this going by that number. Just saying. There's some other features to the two amp hour batteries that make them awesome. Number one, here it is. This two amp hour battery, this PowerCore 12, has an indicator. This one has three bars of charge. The second thing that makes this battery so awesome, unbelievably awesome, is that it comes with a USB port on it. So if you wanted to power USB chargeable devices, you can with this battery. Doesn't take any special adapters. Oh, go spend $70 for an extra adapter, buddy, if you wanna use your 12 volt. You don't need to do none of that. The second component to this battery Phenon, and it's a Phenon, I love it, it's just thoughtful, is the Skill Jump Charger. Now, this jump charger, this is the, the amazing thing. It has a jumping feature, it's jumping. Like, I feel like, was it Criss Cross? No, who was that? Um, what the heck was their name? Jump around, jump around. I can't, I, I'm drawing a blank. Leave it down in the comment section below if you know, or was it, was it the, jump around, jump around. And they wore their clothes reversed, their, their pants, like backwards and stuff. Jump around, jump, jump, I forget, whatever. Skill took a page out of their book with the jump charger, this will take a fully depleted two amp hour battery and what's called jump charge it. Five minutes, it will give you 25% charge on this battery. So if you needed to drive one more screw, two more screws, 10 more screws, potentially this could get you out of a jam. The other thing is, once again, you can use this jump charger to power USB devices. Pretty, pretty, Awesome and thoughtful. Finally, out of the kit, we have the Skill Quarter Inch Impact. I'm gonna tell you one of the favorite things about this thing. Here it is. Look at that! I love that light. It's like a little halo, halo, halo. All right, here's the deal. I love the light, but you know that I also love my belt clips. Whoa, what else is in there? So they've included this belt clip and they're giving you a little driver bit. Look at that guy, like look at the two little rings there. Schnazzy. All right, so I wanna put this belt clip on. I wanna throw this thing on the scale now. With the battery and the belt clip, you're looking at two pounds, 10.9 ounces. On the rear of the tool, they've actually incorporated a little space to put your driver bit. You don't have to store just their driver. I mean, you could, you could almost like store any driver bit there like if you wanted to. Anything quarter inch hex. Now, you know, do I suggest that? Not necessarily, but you could, okay? Here is the deal. 
I know you like the weights and measurements and all. You want to know how it performs. The reality is, is that we have multiple speed settings. We have a low and a high. Skill has been a brand known for homeowners. The thing is, is that this ain't, this ain't your father's skill anymore. I'm really starting to see that this skill line, it's moving into that pro segment. There's going to be, from what I understand, more and more tools offered on the skill platform in not only 12 volt, but 20 volt as well. And I'm liking what I'm seeing. Now that speed one will give you zero to 1600 RPMs. Speed two will give you 2600 RPMs. That's no slouch. Let's see how it drives some screws, shall we? Let's start out with some number two screws. I wanna see something here. Whoa, quick insert collet. Unreal, look at that. Yo, and if you can get in here to see the ball bearing is on in the corner of the hex, which I don't like, but it has dual ball bearings. So that should make this highly secure, highly secure. I don't like single ball bearing in the corner. Dual ball bearing, if you got a pair of balls bearings in the corners, it should retain. Let's drive a couple drywall screws. Wow. We're in high right now. I'm gonna tell you this much right now. Usually three inch drywall screws are a bear. They're really a beast to drive. No problem at all. And we're only a half charge on the battery. Let's try it on low. You'll see on low, you're getting more control. Look at that. Let's see if we'll drive these three inch screws on low. So it will. It'll just take more time. If you're driving three inch drywall screws into wood, three inches, high's, high's your speed. High, I will say this, I love, love the way it's lighting the work area. This halo light is unbelievable. The direction switch, awesome. I like the rubber over molding as well. Now here's the deal. If you had, see that? If you had a, a driver bit in there, it's not gonna help you, but I don't know, like if you were gonna drop your tool or lay your tool down, some of this rubber over molding, especially up here at the front, could help you. I will say though, the collet does stick out. So you probably would sustain some damage if you were to knock this over, like on a countertop or a floor, you could get a little denning. But I do like the rubber over molding. I mean, being careful with your tools is, you know, is your responsibility. I think that they've done a pretty good job. And if you like being responsible, but having a tool company do a really good job with designing their newer lines of tools, smash the like button. Leave the comments down below. What are you thinking of Skill's new line of tools? What do you think about the 12 volt, the 20 volt? If you had your say in what we brought in next to take a look at, to test, what would it be? Also, do you want to see this thing in a TTR? Because we could do it. With that, I want to say I appreciate each and every one of you for being here. Thanks a lot, everybody. We'll see you all on the next one. Video's over, but I know you want more. So this is how you're going to get it. First thing you need to do is pretend you're this guy. And you're here at the birthplace of freedom. Now ring that bell like it's 1776 and let all notifications through. What? You're not subscribed yet? Well, smash this button here. After that, watch this video here, here, and maybe over here.
see you later.